Hi, welcome to this video. In today's video, I'm going to prove that this number i of n is an integer number. Okay, I have square root of the product n, n plus 1, n plus 2, n plus 3, plus number 1 is integer number. Okay, this is Morocco Math Olympia 2019. So, pause this video if you would like to give a try to this problem and keep watching to see how to solve this problem, okay? Let's start now by calculating the, the terms. Let's start with the term zero. Let's plug the, the zero into n to see what's the expression. Let's calculate i, I of zero equal to, if you plug the zero into this, this is, expression is giving you one, okay? So this one, I can rewrite it on this form, 1 multiplied by 2, you can write it 1 let's start, start calculating the term a of 0, okay, to see what this expression is so this one, if you plug the 0 into this one, is giving you 1, okay one, I can rewrite it on this form, 2 multiplied by 0, okay, plus 1, square. This is true, right? So this one equals 1, okay, 1 square, the same thing, and equal 1, equal 2, multiplied by 0, plus 1. Let's start calculating the first term, i of 0. If you plug the zero into this one, it's giving you one, okay? One. The one I can rewrite, rewrite it one squared, or two multiplied by zero plus one squared, okay? This one equal to what? To what? This one equal one, or two multiplied by zero plus one, okay? So let's move on to the second term, which is I of 1 equal, equal, let's plug the number 1 into this expression, 1 multiplied by 1 plus 1, uh, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 3, plus the last term, okay, plus 1. If you calculate, calculate this one, is giving you 25, which is, I can rewrite it, 5 squared, I can re rewrite it also, 2 times 2 plus 1 square. Okay? This one equal what? Equal 5, equal to 5, or equal to 2, multiply by 2 plus 1. Okay? This is odd number. Let's move on to the third term, i of 2. 2 equal... 2 multiplied by 2 plus 1, multiplied by 2 plus 2, multiplied by 2 plus 3, plus 1. Okay, first the last term. This one is giving us, if you calculate this one, is giving you 121. Okay, 121 equal to 11 square. I can rewrite it on this form as well. 2 times 5 plus 1 square. So this square, this square root is going to simplify by this square, okay? So you will be no square root, no square root here because of this square, okay? So this one equal to, equal to 11, or 2 multiplied by 5 plus 1, okay? Let's move on to the fourth term, i to 4. This one... If you, if you plug this one into this one, it's giving you... Uh, let's move on to i of 3 term, okay? If you plug the number 3 here, it's giving you 3, 3 plus 1, 3 plus 2, multiply by 3 plus 3, plus the last term plus 1. If you calculate this one, it's giving you 361 which is 
19 square okay 19 square it can be written on this form as well so this is 19 square or 2 multiplied by 9 plus 1 square so 19 equal 2 multiplied by 9 plus 1 so which is 19 square this square root will be simplified by this by this equinary square okay so this one is giving us 19 or 2 times 9 plus 1 now let's move on to the fourth term i of 4 equal 4 multiplied by 4 plus 1 4 plus 2 4 plus 3 okay plus the last term plus 1 if you calculate this one is giving you 841 841 equal to uh, 29 square 29 square you will be written on this form 2 multiplied by 14 plus 1 okay quinary square this square root will be simplified okay it will be cancelled out because of this square so our term become uh, 29 or 2 times multiplied by 14 plus 1 always you have the add number as a result you see because the add number is written on this form 2k plus 1 okay what's the variation okay of these terms so how these terms jump from term to term what's the difference between term to term let's start taking a look at the point zero i of zero when you go to the next term after zero okay so from zero to one as as you see here you multiplied one equal two multiplied by zero plus one but the second term number one equal two times zero plus one the second term which is i of one equal two multiplied by, by two plus one same one you see same two that i have here the first term is two but changing just from zero to two third term two to five the fourth term from five to nine that's the last term from nine to fourteen what is this from the first term from zero to one there is plus two digit number difference from zero to two there is two numbers difference but when you go from the second term to third term there is plus three let's rewrite it very simple to understand it when you jump in from 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 this one to this one from this one to this one you have plus two numbers when you jump in from the second term uh, to third term you will have plus three when you jump in from the third term to fourth term you have plus four as you see it here when you jump in from the fourth term to the, the last term you see plus five you see this one is doing in the same way until you hit the the last term okay what about i n i of n minus one term if you could if you can look at here zero from zero to one i have plus two from one to two i have plus three from two to three i have plus four this information that i have is enough to calculate the n i n minus one term so this one it can be written on this form now i and i of n minus one i can rewrite it on this on this form n minus one okay instead n n multiplied by n plus one multiplied by n plus two plus the last term which is now one okay this one i can rewrite it on this form okay because i know the variation from term to term we always have number two as we have all terms have the number two 
and also I have plus one as all terms have number one as a last digit number okay but I want to figure out this one I know the variation how these terms goes how to two multiply by it. there is another number which is we don't know about it because it is a large number like 49 it is k plus this difference plus n okay but don't forget square as you have here all square here okay so this one i can rewrite it it's another number to big k or k prime for example plus one square now i'm going to cancel out the square root because of this square okay my state because my statement is true I'm able to raise the power to here because uh, I know this one I have this one is square root of this one I, I, I know this term is squared okay so this one equal 2 times k prime plus 1 now I'm able to pull this one out okay by taking the square root of of this one okay let's calculate the, the last term I of n same thing here the last term is n is written on this form by taking this square root out of this term n plus 3 plus the last term plus 1 okay this one same thing as this one uh, the number i here is n here is you will be n plus one okay so the when you when you add the number after this one the difference uh, the second digit number uh, it will be n plus one so this one can be written two times let's call it m okay let's call it m uh, plus this difference which is n plus one okay which is n plus one square don't forget square here equal square root of let's call it this number this number let's call it m prime 2 m prime plus one square okay this one equal to 2 m prime plus one now I, I, f I figure out the last term is digit number so the reason why I'm doing this job all the way down from the from the beginning to the end just to figure out this square root of the whole number equal this number Uh, the number i n equal m is integer number n. now let's move on to use another method to show this number is an integer number so this one i can rewrite it as you see here when you distribute this one is giving you this one okay so this one is written on this form I'm going to prove this is integer number so if you distribute this one is giving you this one this one is written on this form n square plus 3 n plus b quantity I, I will show you why this one is written on this form uh, I know this first term I know the second term but I don't know the third term because if you apply let's put this one this one equal a plus b quantity okay by putting in the substitution a equal n square plus 3n okay this one when you apply the first this is a regular identity very uh, very famous one so this one equal a square plus 2 times a b plus b square okay that's what i'm trying to do here that's why when you apply the first term a square here 
plus 2 times a b plus b squared always when you apply e squared here always you have to have uh, the the, uh, the highest order okay and to four that's what you have here because you have e squared so now this one a squared if you apply a squared call a and two and square plus three n okay quinary if you apply this one i'm i'm, I'm applying the same identity so this one it gives it gives me n to fourth plus this one multiply two times this one by this one which is six and three plus nine n square as you see here it shows me the number that I'm looking for. You see the first two, two first term in the in this in this expression is the same thing. That means the first term that I have always n uh, n to uh, n square. Okay. So the second term is three n. That's so because it's correct here. Okay. So that's mean this one I can write this one. Just this is one just a square. Let's plug in the a square here, which is n to fourth plus six n to three plus n to uh, n nine n square. Let's calculate two times a b two b multiplied by a a is the n square plus three n plus b square b square is still the same thing b square okay as you have here see this is b square okay this is b square it's still the same so so now i'm going to uh, combine the numbers that put the, the every term so i have this one so and to fourth plus six what is n to third so everything is clear now. Six and two three plus nine plus two b multiplied by n square plus six b n plus the last term b square. Okay. I'm going to match the terms. Okay. This term, as you have here, let's go back to the, the original. A function so if you see here n to fourth is n to fourth here you have 9 plus 2b equal 11 okay you have 6b equal uh, 6 okay b squared equal 1 so that's mean b equal 1 okay so let's now uh, plug in into this equation uh, now i found p equal one right let's plug in into this one so our p equal to n to fourth plus six to n three plus eleven n square plus six n plus one equal n square plus three n plus one because I found B okay now quantity now I have this is square root of P I have P equal to n now I have P equal to n to fourth plus six n to, th to third plus eleven n square plus six n plus one equal n square plus three n plus one quantity okay so this one as you see here we have I n equals square root of p, which is this one, square root of n square plus 3 n plus 1 square. Now the square root will be simplified by square, by cancel out, okay? So now we have n square plus 3 n plus 1 is the integer number, this one, okay? Now I approve it. I approve this one. N square 
plus 3n plus 1 is an integer number. Okay? Okay, this is the good place where I can stop. Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you in next video. Bye.